Hello, you're welcome to IDC Learning Center YouTube channel. For today's video, we will be looking at 2022 National Common Entrance Examination, that's NCEE. Mathematics questions, I will be solving all the questions, 40 of them. You can use this video to practice with your kids at home and find out how they did in the exam. To get started, Let's look at the very first question. What is M C M X C I I in Hindu Arabic numeral system? I want you to know expand everything. It will give you M plus C M plus X plus Odon plus XC plus II. Once you do that, this M stands for 1000. CM stands for 900. XC stands for 90. And II stands for 2. You can gently sum this up. Um, sum this up. You have 2, 9, Nine one. That's one thousand nine hundred and ninety-two. The right answer for question one is D. Question two. Which of these numbers, one, three, six, eleven, and twelve, are prime numbers? Prime numbers are numbers that cannot be divided by any other number, except one and itself. So the right answer is C. 3 and 11 are prime numbers. Again, prime numbers must have two factors. One is not a prime number because one has just a factor itself. Question 3. Change 120 seconds to minutes. I want you to know that 60 seconds we give us one minute. So 60 plus 60, 120 seconds. We give us two minutes and so on and so forth. So whenever you are changing from a smaller unit to a bigger one, you divide. Then if you are changing from a bigger one to a smaller one, you multiply. Since I'm change, we are made to change 120 seconds, a smaller unit to a bigger unit, the minute, we divide by their unit of conversion. Yes, yeah, 60 seconds gives 1 minute, so I'll divide by 60. Okay, so divide by 60 seconds, that makes 1 minute. So this cancels, 0 cancels, 6 into 12 will give me 2. Okay, so the right answer is B. Question 4. Arrange the following fractions in descending order. Descending order means from the biggest to the smallest. To do that, the first thing we need to do is to find the LCM of the denominators 4, 2, 4, 3. The LCM will be 12. Start from the first fraction. 12 divided by this denominator, which is 4, is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. I'm done with the first fraction. Let's go to the second fraction. The denominator is 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 times 1 is 6. Let's go to the third fraction. The denominator is 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. And then the last one, the denominator is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. So the largest here is 9, which is 3 over 4. Arranging from the biggest, I'm going to write 3 over 4 first. The next is 8, which is 2 over 3. 2 over 3 comes next. Then um, 6, which is 1 over 2, comes next. And the smallest will be 1 over 4, which is 3. Among these options, the right one will be A, 3 over 4, 
2 over 3, 1 over 2, and 1 over 4. Question 5. If a cup costs 2 pounds and the rate of exchange is a pound, 1 pound equal to 640 naira. 640 naira. Okay, they are now asking you. Um, sorry, let me write the one pounds properly. Okay, so two pounds, how much will it cost? If one pound costs 640, two pounds will be 640 plus 640, which will give you 0, 8, 12, 1000, 2. 180 naira 1280 which is e question 6 find the even number between 19 and 41 that is a multiple of 7 multiples of 7 are 7 14 21 28 35 40 okay between 19 and 41 I, I wanted to say 42 is less but then the multiples I need are 21 28 and 35 so find the even number that is a multiple the right answer will be 28 21 and 35 are not even numbers so we we'll pick b question seven find the square root square root of two whole number one over four let's convert this to improper fraction first four times two eight plus one nine this same thing as nine over four okay take note i converted this to imp um, improper fraction to get this this square root affects both the numerator and the denominator. So square root of 9 is 3, square root of 4 is 2. 2 into 3 is 1, remainder 1 over 2. So the right answer is E. 1 whole number, 1 over 2. Question 8. Calculate the simple interest on 800 Naira for 4 years at the rate of 6% per annum. Formula for calculating simple interest equal to principal times rate times time over 100. Simple interest equal to the principal, which is 800. The rate is 6% and the time is 4 years. Divide this by 100. Two zeros cancels two zeros. Okay, so eight times six is forty-eight. Forty-eight times four will give us our answer. Eight times four is thirty-two. Two bring three here. Yeah? Four times four is sixteen plus three, nineteen. So one nine two B is the correct answer. Okay, we are going to go to the next question which is number nine the question says if two-thirds of a number is 60 what is one-sixth of that same number let's find the number two-third two over three of the number is 60 okay to get the number we just flip this fraction three over two times 60 over one will give us the number two year one two year 30 three times 30 the number is 90 now let's look for one sixth of the number. Since the number is 90, one sixth, one over six, of means times of 90. What will it give you? Six year one, six year one remainder three, six into 30 is five. So the right answer is E15. <clears throat> now let's look at question 10. The HCF of two numbers is 3. Which of the following pairs represent the two numbers in the options below? This question says 
the HCF of two numbers is three. So we can just get the two numbers from what we have. It cannot be A because 17 is an odd number, right? So HCF, you need to think of a number that can be able to divide all numbers. So it will definitely be C. 9 and 15 can be divided by 3. Both are factors of 3. But for other options, there are no factors of 3. Okay? So 3. Sorry, they are not multiples of 3. So 3 can go through. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Nothing can go. So the ACF is 3. The right answer is C. Not A, B, D, or E. Question 11. 25% of 500 is less than one of the following by 80. 25% mm. of 500. 25% means 25 over 100. Okay? Of here means times 500. Let's find out what it will give us. Two zeros cancels two zeros. So 25 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 bring 2 here. 5 times 2, 10 plus 2 is 12. It's less than one of the number numbers by 80. So to get the number 125, add 80 to it. 5, 8 plus 2, 10, 0, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So the right number is B, 205. All right, question 12. Change 32. Point zero eight to Kobo. I want you to know that hundred Kobo will give us one error. So to change to Kobo, we multiply by hundred. Hundred has two zeros. You move one two. Your answer will be three two zero eight, three thousand two hundred and eight, which is D. Question thirteen. How many ten error added up to make one thousand? Just divide 1000 by 10. 0 cancel 0. That's 100. The right answer is C. Question 14. Change 7.5% to fraction in its lowest term. 7.5. This symbol here means divide by 100. Okay? So 2 times 7, 14 plus 1. 15 over 2. This over 1. Change division to times and flip this. You have 1 over 100. Okay, so this will give me 15 over 200. I multiply this denominator 2 times 100 to get 200. Now let's reduce this to the lowest term. Divide both sides by 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 200 divided by 5 is 40. Okay, the right option is D. Okay, now we are going over to question 15. Question 15 says, convert 8 weeks, 8 days to days. Okay, how many days make 1 week? 7. So 8 times 7 will give me 56 days. That's 8 weeks equal to 56 days plus 8 days, everything will be in days now. 56 plus 8 will give me 64. So, the right answer is A. Question 16. The max price of an article is 8,200. If a customer receives 410 Naira as a discount on the article, what percentage is the discount? Max price is always 100%, so 100% equal to 8,200. So if this person gets um, received 410 as a discount, what percentage is the discount? Percentage will be 410 out of the total or the mark price, which is 8,200 times 100 will give us the percentage discount. Two zeros cancels two zero. Two year two o oh five two into um eighty two 
is 41. How many times can 41 go into 205? It's 5 times. Okay, because 41 times 5, 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 4 is 2205. So the right answer is B. Okay, let's look at question 7. Subtract 8 centimeters, 7 millimeters from 42 centimeters. So let's have centimeters and millimeters. The bigger one is 42 and 5, the smaller one is 8 and 7. The instruction says subtract. 5 minus 7 can go. Borrow one from 41, 42. So it will now give us 41. The one I'm borrowing is actually 1 centimeters. And 1 centimeters equal to 10 millimeters. As I bring the one here to be 10 millimeters, 10 millimeters plus 5 millimeters. I did that because 10 millimeters make 1 centimeters. So 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 minus 7 is 8 millimeters. So 41 minus 8. Borrow 1 from 4 is 3. Put it to this one, it's 11. 11 minus 8 is 3. Bring down the other 3. So the answer is 33 centimeters, 8 millimeters. The right answer is D. Question 18. A man drives his car at an average speed of 76 kilometers per hour. Calculate the distance covered in three and a half hours. You know that speed equals to distance over time. So to get a formula for calculating distance, distance is um speed times time so a man drives his car the average speed here is um 76 kilometers per hour times the time time is three and a half hours change it to improper fraction two times three six plus one seven so we have seven over two over one two year one two year three remainder one two into sixteen eight our answer will be thirty eight times 7 okay 8 times 7 is 56 put your 6 bring your 5 7 times 3 21 plus 5 26 266 put your unit kilometers the right answer is D question 19 three boys shared certain numbers of mangoes in the ratio 5, ratio 3, ratio 2, if the one with the smallest ratio receive 40 mangoes, find the number of mangoes shared. So, the smallest is um sum of ratio is 5 plus 3 plus 2, which will give me 10. The smallest receive 2 out of the 10 shares, which is 40. Right? So what they shared will be over 10, you flip 10 over 2 times 40, okay? 10 times 40 is 400, divide by 2, the right answer is 200, which is E. Question 20, Bola bought 6 books at 45 Naira each. And sold them for 230 naira. How much does she lose? Let's get the cost price. She paid 45 naira per for a book. Then she bought six. So you multiply by six to get the total amount she spent. Six times five is 30. Put zero, bring three. Six times four, 24 plus three, 27. This is the total amount she spent. Um, but she sold them less than what she bought them. So that means there was a loss. The loss would be how much he bought them minus how much he sold them. 270 minus 230 will give me 40 Naira loss. The right answer is C. Question 21. Evaluate. We have 2 over 3 times 3 over 4 plus 5 over 6 divided by 2 over 3. So we use the concept of board maths. All right, so we are going to solve for division first. Keep chain flip. 
this will give me 2 over 3 times 3 over 4 plus 5 over 6. Change the division to times and flip the next fraction. 3 over 2. 3 year 1. 3 year 2. So this will give me 3 cancels 3. 2 year 1. 2 year 2. I have 1 over 2 at the left plus 5 over 4 here. Okay, so the LCM here of 2 and 4 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 4 divided by 4, 1. 1 times 5 is 5. This will give me 7 over 4. 7 divided by 4, 1 remainder 3 over 4. So the right answer is A. Question 22. If minus 2x equal to 6, find the value of x. Just divide both sides by minus 2. Minus 2. This cancels this. Minus 2 into 6 is minus 3. Um, x is, should be minus 3. The answer is not in the option. I think there is an error. Question 23. Solve for x if 3 equal to 15x minus 2. Move minus 2 to meet 3 is broader. As it crosses the equal to sign, the minus changes to plus. You have 3 plus 2, then 50x stands alone. 3 plus 2, I can write this as 15x equals to 3 plus 2, 5. Divide both sides by 15. 15 cancels 15. 5 year 1, 5 year 3. 1 over 3 is the right answer, which is B. Question 24. Given that the area of a rectangle is 42 centimeters square, the breadth is 6 centimeters, find the height. Sorry, find the length. Area of a rectangle is um, length times breadth. So the area has been given as 42 equal to the length we don't know times the breadth which is 6. Okay, to get the length, just divide both sides by the breadth. 6 cancels 6. Length equal to 42 divided by 6, 7 centimeters. The right answer is C. Question 25. Find the area of the shaded portion in the diagram below. Now we have two rectangles, the bigger one, the outer one, and the inner one. So area of the outer rectangle, 10 centimeters as length times breadth. 10 centimeters times 6 centimeters will give me 60 centimeters. Area of the smaller one, the one inside, will be 3 times 4, 12 centimeters square. So the shaded portion will now be area of shaded, will be area of the outer one, 60 centimeters square, minus area of the inner one, which is 12 centimeters square. Borrow one from this, this is 5, put it 10. Minus 2, 8, 5 minus 1, 4. That's 41 centimeters square. That's the shaded part. 48, sorry. The right answer is D. 48 centimeters square. Question 26. Solve the equation. We have 2x equal to 30 minus 3x. Color like terms. Move minus 3x to the left. 2x as it crosses the equal to sign, the minus changes to plus 3x equal to 30. So 5x equal to 30. To get the value of x, we divide both sides by 5. 5 cancels 5. 5 into 30 is 6. So the right answer is B. Question 27. Find the circumference of a circle. Circumference of a circle is 2 pi radius. Circumference equal to 2 times the pi has been given as 22 over 7 and the radius as 21 over 4. Look at the radius here given in question. 
seven year one, seven year three, two year two, two year one, two year one, twenty to twenty two, eleven, eleven times three, thirty three centimeters. So the right answer is C. Question twenty eight. <coughs> Why? Okay. Minus eight equal to twelve. To get y, move minus 8 to meet 12 at the right hand side. y will give us 12 plus 8. The minus in the 8 will change to plus as 8 crosses the equal to sign. So y will be 12 plus 8, 20, which is e. Question 29. How many faces does a cube have? 6, 30. Find the area of a rectangle. Okay, area equals to length times breadth. Find the area if the length is 8 centimeters and the breadth is 4 centimeters. If you multiply both of them to give you 36 centimeters square. Sorry, 32. 8 times 4 is 32. Okay. Sorry about that. The right answer is A, 32 centimeters square. Question 31. What is a five-sided polygon called? Pentagon. Question 32. A rectangle has how many lines of symmetry? The answer is B, 2. Question 33. Find the volume of a cylinder. Volume of a cylinder is base area times the height. In this question, whose base area is 84 centimeters square? Base area has been given as 84 centimeters square times the height, which is 6 centimeters. So 84 times 6. 6 times 4, 24, 4 carry 2. 6 times 8, 48, plus 2, 50. Okay, so the right answer is E. Question 34. Find the area of a circle. Area of a circle is pi r square. So area equal to pi stands for 22 over 7 times radius whose diameter if diameter is seven half of a diameter is radius so we we'll say three point five times three point five because the radius is square so three point five year one three point five into seven two we we'll go twice two year one two into twenty two eleven my answer will be three point five times eleven one times five is five one times three is three 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 3 is 3. So this 5 is 3. Put your 1 decimal. The right answer is 38.5 centimeters square. Question 35. What is the height of a triangle? You know, area of a triangle is half times base times height. Whose area? Area has been given as 144 centimeters square. Half times the base are 16. We are made to look for the height. 2 year 1, 2 year 8. So 8 times h, 8h equal to 144. To get a height, divide both sides by 8. 8 cancels 8. 8 year 1, 8 into 14 is 1. Remainder 6. 8 into 64, 8. So the right answer is 18 centimeters which is E. Question 36. S is 24 years old and a younger brother, this S is age, 24 years, a young, and a younger sister is 18 years old. So this question says, what was the sum of their ages 12 years ago? 12 years ago, each of them will be minus 12. So, S's age will be 12 years, 12 years ago. The sister's age will be 6 years. 
12 years ago. What is the sum? 12 plus 6. The sum will be 18 years. Okay, so um, question 37. Find the value of x in the shape below. Sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180. So 3x plus 2x plus x will give us 180. 3x plus 2x plus x will give me 6x equals to 180. To get the value of x, you divide both sides by 6. 6 cancels 6. 6 into 180 is 30. So the right answer, the value of x is 30 degree, which is A. Question 38. Calculate the area of the triangle below. Area of a triangle is half times base times height. Area of a triangle will give me 1 over 2 times the base which is 15 and the height which is 12. 2 year 1, 2 to 12, 6. So 15 times 6. 6 times 5, 30. 0 carry 3. 6 times 1, 6 plus 3. 90 centimeters square. The right answer is C. Question 39. What is the average of the following set of numbers? To get average, just sum the numbers and divide by how many they are. Okay, so now we have the numbers. Divide by how many are they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, divide by 7. So, 8 plus 6, 14. 14 plus 5, 19. 19 plus this 5. 24 24 plus 2 26 26 plus 3 29 29 plus 6 35 divided by 7 the right answer is 5 which is 6 C okay question 40 find the mode of the following set of numbers the mode is the one with the highest frequency 3 appeared 1 2 4 appeared 1 2 2 appeared 1 2 3 so the mode is 2 now i've solved the 40 questions given to you in federal common entrance i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to share this video like this video subscribe to the channel if you've not done so i'll be bringing more interesting educational packages your way for now i'm going to say bye